Welcome back, everybody, to Wiffle Ball Wednesdays. This is game two of the Eye of the Tiger versus California Classics, and certainly last game was a classic with Vincent Arroyo walking it off in extras. That game had a lot of energy. I'm looking for some of that today. Now let's take a look at the pitching matchup this game with Isaiah Molina on the bump versus Jacob Powell. Both pitchers have their control issues at time, but when they're on, both are really unhittable. Unfortunately for Isaiah Molina, he's been hit hard a little bit more this season with the 333 opponent's batting average. For Jacob Powell, he needs to locate more, hit his spots, and he will do just fine today. Let's see if the Tigers can even the series between the Classics. Coming up next. So here we got the California Classics lineup with JP and AP back to back in the lineup, both decently well starting off the season. And game one hero Vincent Arroyo batting 500 right now. And Jose Espy rounding it out in the fourth spot. There we go, JP. And shoots him up the middle, but Jake is there. Good position by him. And that is the first out of the first. Pretty good now. And 3 2. And he hits some for ball four, and that'll be his base. Hits it now. And he draws a walk. Slider going out of the zone. Now SP getting his first shot here. Walks. Now the bases are loaded with one out. JP, full count. And he takes a walk and walks in the first run of the game. 1-0, classics. Let's go Padilla. Swing the first pitch and it's lined right at Vincent's and that will be an out. Out on the base pass, ball hits him right at him blistered that ball unfortunately for Bidia that is that is an out no hit for him okay the bottom of the inning now leads us to the eye of the Tigers batting we have Julian Lopez leading it off Jake Rallas coming in at second Isaiah Molina at batting third and David Hong at fourth Julian Lopez steps in and that is a walk for him we got Jake 3-2 count and he strikes out swinging on a pitch, a breaking pitch that drops down to his knees. Let's look at the replay right here. The sequence here. Interesting sequence by JP and Jake. Could not make contact with that one. Now Zay with a 3-0 count. Takes a walk. First and seconds. Next we got Davian. 2-2 count. Does not swing the bat. And that is a strikeout looking for Davian right there. And that will retire the side for JP. Gets him, does not even bother to swing at that pitch. So back to the classics lineup. Vincent leading it off and takes the ball four. Disrespect right there. So SB right. 3 0 count again and another walk. Zay losing command here early on. He's to find it quick before things get out of hand. In the box and watches a breaking ball go down the middle right there. And that will sit JP down. Let's look at the sequence right there. That ball goes up and comes down. It's like a harder breaking ball, and that sits him down right there. And AP comes in the box now, and he gets walked on that pitch. Vincent here could do damage. Takes ball four, and that is 2-0 classics. They had enough with Zay with his command, and now they ask for Jake Relas to take the mound. It hasn't been dominant at his first pitching performances, but has shown skill to keep going in this league. So that you put him on here to try to shut things, this bases loaded jam. SB 3-0 count, bases loaded. And that is a walk for SB, that brings in one run. Jacob 2-2 count. He strikes out swinging. That looks similar to the Zay pitch, and he sits down another time this inning, and Jake uses the Zay pitch against JP. Let's look at the replay there. Yup, and JP cannot make contact with that one, and that will flip it to the bottom of the second. Julian 3-0 count. That is a walk for Julian. JP loses command right there. Jake 1-2 count. Strikes out swinging, gets under that pitch. Great pitch by Jacob right there. Hard foul by Jake. Swings up the riser. Gets under that last pitch. Here's Isaiah Molina. 1-1. One and, one. and a grounder left side. And it's over the bag. And AP is there. And that's two down. And really 
quick inning for JP. Here we have the top of the third, 3-2 count for AP, and looks at ball four again and takes his base. Vincent in a 3-1 count, looking to get a hit here, and he gets a walk, first and second. SB 3-2 count, and he walks on that one, and that will be bases loaded. So discussion on the mound here for the Tigers, big spot, 3-0 game relatively close, want to keep it here for a chance to tie it up in the third. Jacob 2-2 two, two count, right side, and that is a ground out. Julian bobbles it a little bit, he's able to get that out right there. Big out for him now, it's AP. And he flies one of left fields. It's going, it's going, it's over the wall. The new dimensions keep it out of here, and Jake is in despair. And that's AP's first home run of the season, a grand slam home run coming around the bases and his team greeting him. 7-0 for the classics. This is a slider hanging up in the zone. An AP barrel zone apparently. Take a look at the replay from this angle. AP gets under that high pitch and that's one of the highest home runs I've ever seen in Wolf of Ball Wednesday but is able to carry out there to the newest edition of the ballpark. It has a fence that is closed in and Isaiah Molina right there at the wall at the track and cannot come up with it as it keeps on carrying. 0-2 oh, count and he swings and misses. And that will lead to the bottom of the third to see if the Eye of the Tigers can make any noise. Bottom three, Julian, 3-2 three, count. And that is a ball low and he walks once again. Jake, 0-0 oh, oh, count. Rope swan and that is long gone. That is a shot by Jake Rilla. That is the farthest home run I think I've ever seen in Wiffle Ball Wednesday. That is his first home run this season. He was out there looking for his home run. I talked to him before the game, interviewed him. He said he's really excited to hit his first home run. And he does it right there as he comes in the home plate. Welcome home, Jake Rellas. Look at him stepping into first base, all excited. Yet they are still down 7-2. Job is not finished, guys. Let's look at the replay. Ropes couldn't have been hit any more solid than that one right there. Beautiful, stays on playing with that ball and completely drives it to the power line in left center. As you can see right there, it hits it and it just keeps on carrying. Here's Zay now, trying to keep it going, no outs here. And he rolls one over to the center field and AP is there. That is the first out of third. Time is running out for the Tigers. Davian steps into the batter's box right now, 3-1 count. Hits it to the right side, that should be a routine play. And that is through Vincent. That goes in between his legs and the eye of the Tigers are still alive in this game. Julian, one, two count, last hope. Hits one up the middle, but Vincent feels it cleanly this time. And that ends the game. The eye of the Tigers go down bad another game. They lose four to two, California Classics pull off another great win. They, they actually only have one hit. All the walks um, really damaged the Eye of the Tigers performance today, but Jacob comes up with the win. And the California Classics are able to pull off this game and have a 2-0 lead this series. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Like I like turn around real quick. I saw it. I thought it was like pop by, but, but uh, as soon as I turn around, I was like, oh, never mind. That's out. Of I here. celebrated just in case, but I was like, I don't know if he's gonna go. You swing up right away. Oh, oh, oh. What the? Heck? Oh yeah, that's right. He's out of here. Get in the bullpen. Stay in the dugout. He's out of here.